We brought along our grandson to learn more about this battle and the brave men on both sides who fought and died here. Griswoldville is 90 miles south of Atlanta and 10 miles east of Macon. This is the site of the Battle of Griswoldville, Georgia, which took place on November 22, 1864. At the end of this battle, the Union Army surveyed their victorious battleground and saw their foes for the first time at close range. Lieutenant Charles W. Willis of the 103rd Illinois Regiment described what he saw. Old gray-haired and weakly old men and young boys not over 15 years old lay dead or writhing in pain. I hope we will never have to shoot at such men again. The Union Army had Griswoldville in its sights for a while. Earlier that year, in July 1864, General Sherman's army tried to destroy the entire town by capturing a locomotive, building it up to full steam, and sending it roaring backwards into town and slamming into a passenger train. You see, the railroad was the reason this town was built. It had to be destroyed, but the Union Army despite their best efforts, didn't destroy Griswoldville this time. Samuel Griswold founded this town in 1860 and made it successful by owning and operating a foundry, a cotton gin factory, a wagon and buggy factory, and later in 1862, he retooled the gin factory to produce a percussion revolver for the Confederacy. Now you understand why it was so important for the Union Army to destroy this town. On November 15th, General Sherman left Atlanta on his devastating march to the sea. His forces split into two wings, one going to Augusta and one going to Macon, with the real target as Milledgeville, Georgia, Georgia's capital at that time. On November 21st, the night before the battle, the Union Cavalry burned buildings and destroyed railway facilities in Griswoldville. The next morning, the weakened Confederate forces, made up mostly of old men and boys, were met by heavily armed and much larger Union troops. They didn't stand a chance. After the battle, the casualties were tallied, 94 Union dead. 1,100 Confederate dead. The march to the sea continued at a fast pace. <laughs>